Throughout history, humankind has shared one particular innate trait, the desire to explore. With the technology of modern gaming becoming more and more sophisticated by the day, we find ourselves able to travel the planet from the comforts of our own living rooms, giving us the opportunity to explore vast, hyper-realistic worlds teeming with the life of the wild. In this series, we'll embark on journeys that take us to the very ends of the Earth, as we seek out everything from majestic pronghorn amidst the boundless mountain ranges and grasslands of Colorado, American alligator along the ever-widening rivers of Mississippi, to the elusive Eurasian lakes in the brutal Russian tundras of Siberia. This is the Hunter Call of the Wild. This is KC Planet. The African Cape Buffalo. Dubbed the Widowmaker after its fiercely aggressive and hostile nature, Cape Buffalo are the largest and most formidable buffalo species on the continent. The least threatened species among the Big Five, which also includes the African elephant, the black rhinoceros, the African lion, and the African leopard, the Cape Buffalo has little in the way of competition, with its only active predators being lions and humans. On our most dangerous hunt to date on KC Planet, in this episode we'll take to the sprawling sandy coasts of the South African savanna as we take on Africa's only naturally occurring buffalo species, the one known as the Black Death, the African Cape Buffalo. What an absolutely perfect morning to be out here in the African savannas in South Africa hunting along the coast here in the Verhonga Savannah of South Africa. This is an incredible opportunity, my first ever time hunting in Africa. We've got perfect weather. We've been given the amazing, incredible opportunity to hunt uh, the most ferocious and dangerous buffalo in the world, and we're gonna do that today with the 470 Nitro. We're taking a beast of a weapon to hunt a beast of an animal known as the Black Death, also known as the Widowmaker. This is not a species of buffalo to be trifled with. We're gonna be very careful to not get ourselves into any trouble here today and uh, hopefully not get attacked by an aggressive buffalo but what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go right down to the coast here along this river and we're gonna run the tree line that kind of skirts just along the beach along this river apparently from what I've been told there are Cape Buffalo that like to drink from this river and we're gonna go down there we're gonna talk a little bit more about Cape Buffalo as a species and we're gonna go down there and see if we can find a big male <laughs> Some other species of animals to take note in this area. There are scrub hares. I haven't seen any of those around yet. There are also springbok around here, lesser kudu, some beautiful, beautiful species of antelope in this area of South Africa. There is also African lions. I've not seen any of those yet. What I want to do is I want to get down. So there is a tree line that kind of skirts along the beach here all the way down. And we're gonna get right down in there. We're gonna tuck ourselves down in there and we're gonna work our way along the beach and see if we can get some good close-up shots of these guys without them uh, without them knowing of my existence. And hopefully uh, we can avoid any potential danger. Hopefully we can avoid uh, any, any of these Cape Buffalo getting aggressive. And the last thing that we want is to get attacked. We might also see some Gemsbok out here today. We might see some blue wildebeest. Lots of amazing species of animals do inhabit this part of South Africa. Just incredible, incredible uh, species of animals around here. It's amazing antelope species. Like I said, blue wildebeest, uh, lesser kudu, springbok. All right, so we've made it down quite close to these guys. They're right in front of me, about 100 meters in front of me. It looks like we've got a herd of maybe 10 or so, between eight and 10. Cape Buffalo down here. So this is just an absolutely incredible species of animal. So we did, we had a warning call before that. I believe that was a type of a type of warning call. So when they feel threatened, something really cool about this species, about Cape Buffalo, is that when they're threatened, if a male is threatened or even a female, they can alert the entire herd with a call. And what they'll do, and you might have seen footage of this, footage of an African lion uh, going after uh, a herd of, of Cape Buffalo, what they'll do is they'll group up into a circle and the bigger males will be on the outside. They'll stay on the outside and they'll kind of circle the group and face the outside of, of that group, the outside of the herd, and they'll face the predators that are on the outside, if there are any, and they'll kind of group up like that. And the smaller females and the smaller males will be in the middle. And 
those bigger males. This guy is on to me right now, so I'm just gonna lay down in the foliage here. A little bit closer if I can. Basically, they'll stay in that position, and that's how they'll they'll fend off predators. And it's extremely effective. It's an extremely effective way for them to fend off predators. It seems I've, I've shaken this up, this herd up a little bit, and uh, they don't seem to be super comfortable. They're moving around a little bit. I don't know if I want to get too close. I think we're going to move along. These guys are in that tall grass. There should be plenty more herds along the beach here, so we'll move on. We're going to continue south. Roughly four times stronger than the average muskox, Cape Buffalo have a lifespan of roughly 23 years and are ranked in their herds by their fighting capabilities. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Got a male out there. An angry male. He's not happy and I think he heard me coming in. I'm just sneaking through the trees here, making my way along the beach, looking for more of these guys. And this guy's just out here all by himself. Now I wanted to talk about, um, I mentioned I've got the 470 Nitro Express is the cartridge that we've gone with today. Now the 470 Nitro Express, is a, it's a very interesting cartridge developed in England in the early 1900s, 1907 by Joseph Lang. This cartridge was actually made and designed and developed for this particular hunt. The cartridge was literally developed for big game hunting, um, Cape Buffalo and Elephant in particular in Africa and also for uh, big game hunting in India as well don't think I'm gonna get too close to this guy I don't think he's our guy for the day and uh, these guys are very sensitive too and I don't want to get too close to, uh, I, I don't want to make him too angry here so I think that's as close as we'll get we're gonna back off I'm gonna back off back into the tree line here and make my way along and see if we can find some bigger herds uh, some bigger numbers here of these Cape Buffalo oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh look at this I've got a herd right down below me here. I managed, I managed to get out of the wind and actually get on a herd here. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, 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 you're okay. Yeah, you're okay though, you're fine. You're, you're okay. He's right down below me. He's about 40 meters away. Actually, I do believe that's a female. And that might be... That's another female. So we've got a couple females down here. A good way that you can spot the females, usually, is they have like this red-gray tint to their coat. Oh, and that's a dead giveaway. Also, smaller horns, more na more narrow horns. They don't have the, uh, the big horns that the males have. Um, but this is the closest we've been able to get all day. They're down there drinking. These animals right down here can drink up to 35 liters of water at a time in a matter of minutes 35 liters i'll repeat that <laughs> this animal 40 meters just down here just down this hill in front of me can drink 35 liters of water in just a matter of minutes in one sitting here and the reason for that is they have a very coarse diet. They eat a lot of coarse foods and uh, they need that much water for digestion and also just to stay hydrated in, in, in the hot and humid uh, climate of, of Africa. So they're also really good swimmers. You know, if they, if they find that there might be better grazing on the other side of this river, they can just swim across and, uh, and take a look at what's over there. A lot of people don't know that about Cape Buffalo. They are very, very good swimmers as well. So this is definitely a rare opportunity to get this close. Uh, we're not gonna be shooting these. These are just a couple of small females, but really, really amazing to be able to get this close to a couple of grazing female Cape Buffaloes. All right, just ahead of me, just ahead of me about, I would say, Gosh, 80, 80 meters, 100 meters. There's a big male. It's definitely a male. I haven't gotten a good look at it yet, but it's the brown pigment variation. And he's just right up, right there. He looks really big. He looks very wide. I, I can't get a good look at him just yet. 
I'm hoping he's part of a bigger herd. Um, but I'm out of the wind. The wind is still going south. And the coast, the river is just right in front of me here. So I'm currently moving east. And I'm just going to sneak up. See if there's anything else down there. See if he might be alone. He's definitely a male. Maybe he's part of a bigger herd. I'm just gonna keep. I'm just gonna keep crawling forward here. Let's see what we've got. Yeah, he's big. He's he's. He definitely knows something's up, though. So I might not get any closer to him. Maybe I should get a little bit closer. Hang on. Hang on. Prone here and make my way up to this guy and see if we can get a good close up look at a huge brown male. K Buffalo. Oh my gosh. This, ladies and gentlemen, is not something you'll see every day. We're 20 meters away from a giant brown male cape buffalo and he is absolutely stunning what an amazing incredible creature unbelievable just absolutely massive horns huge male <sighs> wow he's gonna let me get close I don't know why but he's letting me get close Absolutely breathtaking. It's just out of this world. Alright, I'm gonna move on. Before he gets upset, I'm gonna move on. Just gonna keep crawling. To my left, I think I've got a herd right here. I'm pretty sure I heard a call. Yeah, I did. I did. I did. I did. I did. Uh, we've got a herd just to my left. Okay. We've got a perfect wind here. I don't want to upset this guy. I don't want to get any closer than that. Ah, uh, but okay. We got to move in on this herd. And see what we've got just to our left here. We're in a perfect wind. And we've got a herd. Okay, Buffalo right here. Another brown one in there. Up on the black capes as well. There's more. They might just be them. Let's go prone. I move in and see if I can get a little bit closer. I'm actually gonna make my way down to the beach. Okay, we've got a warning call. All right. Making too much noise. But I would like to make my way down to the beach here. see what we've got in front of me. These guys are like 50, 55, 60 meters away from me. They're right there, but there's another one in the trees there that I didn't see. And I can't get a good look at whether or not that might be a male or a female. Busy drinking. Oh, what did I just see? I feel like there's even more here to my left. I keep hearing something in the trees. That's a big, that's a male right there. That one's definitely a male. That's a big boy. Got buffalo right in front of me. They're right in front of me. Don't know how many, but I'm just sneaking through here. Making my way down to the coast again. Making my way along the tree line. And uh, I found myself in some thick brush. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What's going on? Okay, I, I, I spooked at least one buffalo, maybe more. There goes one, there goes another one. 
Okay, we've got a bunch of cape buffalo here. Oh my gosh. <gasps> what is that? What is that? Oh my gosh. What is that? We've got a we've got we have a white buffalo. We have a white buffalo. <laughs> what was that? That might be an albino. That might be a buffalo with lucism. Whatever it is, it's a white buffalo. Oh my gosh. <sighs> We have to, that has to be our buffalo. That's our buffalo right there. Where did it go? We got to get that buffalo down. That is incredibly rare. Incredibly rare to see a rare white buffalo. I don't, I didn't get a good look at it. I don't know if that was, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. We need to calm down. We need to calm down. We can't go rushing into a herd like that. I don't know what that was. I don't know if that was albino. There it is right there. That might be an albino cape buffalo. Oh my gosh. I believe it is a female. It might be a leucistic cape buffalo or it might be an albino, but she she's up there about 150 meters out. We gotta get her down. We gotta get her down. All right, they're making their way back and I don't have any cover here. I've gotta get a little bit of cover. They're gonna make their way back and I think they're gonna try to get back down to the water. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to make it so that she passes us and when she does, we can get a shot because I would like to try to take a shot from 50, maybe 100 thing is, we've got the 470, but I've got a marksman sight on it, so I don't have a scope on it, so I can't really do anything from a real long distance safely here. I would maybe do it from 100, but they're starting to spook off. Not really sure what my next move should be. Oh my gosh. And I don't know where this rare... Okay, Buffalo has gone. They're making their way through the trees here. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. They've all split up at this point. They've all split up at this point. It looks like there's one or two of them up, up in front of me in this direction. Uh, one of them spooked off that way, and I saw one or two of them going off to my left. I don't know. They are not happy with me, though. They're not happy with me whatsoever, but we have to get that Cape Buffalo down. That's a that's a once-in-a-lifetime Cape Buffalo. Okay, I can, I can hear them all around me at this point. I think they're trying to get back to the coast. I've got a male off to my right. Okay. Oh, they're going to start to spook. I'm not even making much noise here. They're hypersensitive at this point because they know I'm here. And they want nothing to do with me. I'm gonna keep looking. I'm gonna keep looking and see if I can find her. She is. There she is. There she is. There she is. There she is. Alright, we found her. We found her. Alright, what are they doing? What are they doing? She's about 185 out there in that tall grass. And she's turning around. All right, this should be it right here. We should be able to make this happen. But we got to be careful. We got to make sure that after we take the shot, we're not going to get charged by one of these other capes in her herd. All right, they're moving through the tall grass. I'm just going to try to intercept them. I'm going to move right down along the valley here. They're going to move right through these trees. And I'll see if we can, if we can set up for a shot here. She's making her way back to the water. There she is right there. So what I might do is just try to get her to stop. She's about 100 out. Problem is she's got back up. So I gotta be real careful here. Also got a lot of trees in the way and they're trying to get back to the water in a hurry. Gosh, my warthogs all around me. If they're trying to charge me or what's going on. There's a warning call. If they're right in front of me, they are. Right in front of 
front of me. Where is the white one? Come on, where is she? down oh, that's so that was so lucky oh that's so lucky we got her we got ourselves a white cape buffalo you've got to be kidding me I don't know if that's an albino or a leucistic cape buffalo but either way that is incredibly rare she just came right in out of nowhere I wasn't sure if she was there with them but we made it happen, and I believe that shot spooked everyone else in that herd. So I think we're safe. Oh my goodness. What is this? This, I believe... This is a leucistic cape buffalo, I believe. I don't think this is an albino. Leucism is, is essentially um, lacking pigment, just kind of missing pigment, which results in the white color that, that looks a lot like albino, but it's actually quite different. Oh my gosh, I can't even believe that we found this. Let's pick her up and take a look. That's a leucistic female cape buffalo. What an incredible hunt out here in Verhaga Savannah uh, in South Africa. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you haven't watched episodes one to six of season one, definitely check those out. I hope you guys enjoy them. Subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.